Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from Cyber Panel and in today's video we are going to be talking about how you can reduce your server response time. So basically your server response time is the amount of time that passes between a web so uh, a web browser's request for data and then server's answer. So the quicker it is, the more indexing it is going to gain on search engines, the more uh, customer retention it's going to have and basically a lot of good things will come off if you have a great response time. So in this video, we are going to first of all check how you can check your response time, your service response time, and secondly, I, we are going to go through some of, some of the ways with which you can very easily uh, reduce your response time. So without further ado, let's just jump straight to the video. Okay guys, so now we'll see how you can basically, first of all, check what your response time is. Now for that, simply go into GT metrics. Now GT metrics is an amazing tool that is going to tell you about your response time and a lot of other information that you would want. So let me just copy my URL and paste it here. So it's basically going to go through your site, uh, your our URL, our site and everything and tell us what our average response time is, is and any other or more information that we would rather want. Okay, so the test is almost done. Okay, so for example, for my site, my uh, for everything is good and you were also going to see my TTFB, which is 347 millisecond. So that's still a good enough, um, you can say, time over here. And also, you are also going to see the top issues that might be uh, rendering to your site. And after analyzing all of that, what you can do is you can improve upon your uh, site more. So for example, if your TTFB is more than 500, that's a really concerning point and you would need to go through your site all over again from the beginning, go through all the issues that it's showing you and then solving those issues until you get a really good TTFB uh, on GT metrics. You can also use other tools as well, but I find GT metrics to be pretty straightforward and pretty easy to use. So that's how you can actually check what your TTFB is for your uh, website. Okay guys, so to reduce your initial server response time, the first thing that you should do is reduce the distance between your servers and your visitors. So while, while you're deciding on deploying a new server, you should always consider your target audience. So once you know that, okay, my target audience is for example in America, so you can always choose a server which is, or a data center that is closer to that uh, region. So that's how you can reduce your, basically your response time. Secondly, you should always optimize your images. So for that, what you can do is just go into your WordPress dashboard. Now you must have any uh, optimization tool, but uh, with CyberPanel, you will get Lightspeed Cache uh, automatically by default, which is an amazing, amazing um, plugin uh, for basically all sort of purposes. So for that purpose, I'll have, uh, I'll just simply click on Lightspeed Cache and click on Image Optimization. Let me just quickly open up my site. Okay, so in Image Optimization, I'll click on Image Optimization Settings. From here, all I have to do is just turn my Optimize Original Images. I have to turn this on. If this is off, you can always turn it back on and click on save changes. Of course, you will have to skip this, uh, this optimization if you have an image oriented site basically. For example, if you have a website, uh, for example, if you have a photography website uh, in which you need like really high quality images, you need those high quality images to be shown on your site. So you cannot do image optimization on in that case, but if you have a like simple site or a B2B site or basically an e-commerce site, you can just compromise on the quality of the images a little bit and optimize your images just to uh, 
reduce your response time. Okay, so the next option is basically to use a cache plugin. So already I have told you that with CyberPanel, you're going to get Lightspeed cache. You can use some other cache uh, plugin, but Lightspeed cache is a very market oriented uh, plugin, which has like everything for you guys. So I preferably, uh, preferably choose this one and I hope so that you will like it as much as I do. So you use a cache plugin for basically caching, what you can do is just simply come onto your WordPress dashboard, go into Lightspeed Cache, and over here, go into Cache sub uh, option. And when you click on that, you can do is, you will be redirected to a page. And from here, you can, all you have to do is turn on your caching. So for, for example, right now, this is, my cache is enabled. So for example, if it was turned off, all I had to do is turn it on. So you will find the cache control settings under the cache. And once I'm happy with that, click on save changes. And that's all I have to do basically. So this is going to essentially reduce my response time. So this is a very simple way to overcome this problem. Okay, so the next reason why your response time is not as low as you would want is maybe that your plugins or your theme is not up to date. So for that purpose, uh, you can always go back into your CyberPanel account. Now, CyberPanel uh, has this really, really cool feature of CyberPanel WordPress Manager. So using that, you can always update your plugins, your themes automatically from this one screen. So it's super, you know, so it's really, really uh, nice for that. So all you have to do is go into your Sapipan dashboard from here, click on WordPress from the left hand side menu and click on list WordPress. And once you come on to your list WordPress sites, so what, uh, what this site essentially is showing you is all the WordPress websites that you have just open up your required site and from here this is your basically your wordpress manager and once you are on your wordpress manager click on plugins from above and you will be able to see all the plugins that you have installed and whether they are activated or not they are indicated by this little tick mark and the updates for example my all my three plugins are fully updated, but if they were not up to date, I would see a simple update button. And all I have to do to update was to just simply click on that button and that was it. It was going to update my plugins for me. In the same way, you'll see the themes tab above uh, on this tab, uh, uh, on this little uh, bar. And over here, you will all again see all the installed themes all the activated themes and their updation statuses. For example, all three are up to date, but if they were not, I would see just a little update button, which was in uh, with white background. I would only click on that and it will be upgraded for me. So CyberPanel has really reduced your, you can say technicalities in this regard and they have done it really straightforward. Okay, so the next one, the sixth one is that you can always fix your database related issues. So your uh, queries within your tables in a database might be causing the delay in response time. So what you can do is you can repair your uh, database for that. You can always check out our video for uh, how you can repair your WordPress database. Also, you can optimize your database tables. now for. You can also optimize your database table using Lightspeed Cache. So as I told you, it's a very versatile plugin. So simply click on Lightspeed Cache and you will see database tab over here. Click on that and you will be redirected to the database table. And in the manage, not the database optimization settings, but the manage settings, click on that. You will see an optimize tables. All you have to do to optimize your tables in your database is simply click on this button and this plugin is going to optimize your tables for you. So once you click on that, your database tables will be optimized uh, and it will give you a very significant improvement in your response time. Okay, and lastly, you should always choose your WordPress hosting really smartly 
For example, with Sapper Panel, you not only get amazing features, you also get an amazing support team, which is available for its clients day in and day out, ready to help. If they have messed up or accidentally or intentionally, they are there to fix their problems. And if you have a really not acceptable response time, what they can do is help you out, figure out the exact problem, pinpoint the exact problem for you guys and help you reduce your uh, response time significantly. So I hope all the suggestions that I gave to you were really simple and really helpful. And if you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe Cyber Panel.